Rob here from the Flanagan Homestead. Today's story is about, is Bigfoot helping my goats escape? And obviously I'm saying that tongue in cheek, but uh, here's my story uh, on why I think Bigfoot might be helping them get out. But uh, at the end of this, I'm going to tell you a story, uh, a Bigfoot story of a friend of mine, a sane friend that claims they saw Bigfoot. And they're not storytellers and whatnot, but I'll, I'll share that later. But uh, what's going on with my goats is this, my buck is always getting out and going down to my neighbor's yard way over there. Um, and uh, I couldn't figure out where he's getting out. And the neighbor girl comes up and says, hey, I know where he's getting out. He's running up your loading ramp and jumping over the fence. And I said, how could that be? So uh, I have, if you haven't been following the channel, uh, a steep property down to my barn right below me here. And there's not good access with a pickup or whatnot. So on the very far corner of the pasture where I could drive my pickup, I built a loading ramp to get the uh, goats and sheep loaded up when I'm selling them off and so I, I made a ramp really quick one day anyway she said the the goat was running up the ramp and jumping over it and I said it can't be it, it, it's pointed forward where I can back my pickup up to it it's not pointing up to the fence sure enough I go down there and it's been turned and it's right up against the fence and the goat can go over it and so I, I turned it back and then uh, days later it's turned it's pushed back against the fence again and the goats are jumping out over the fence and i'm going what in the world is going on here and so i was like could my goats and sheep possibly be smart enough to push this over but it's pretty heavy and i don't think they're going to do that and i said more, more likely the neighbor kid uh or the friends of the neighbors a lot of boys that run around play around out there are moving it for some reason and uh i, I just want to find out so i put my game camera out to watch what was going on and see what what was happening. So I moved the ramp back where it belongs and I put my game camera up uh, and right on the fence. And uh, as you know, a game camera, at least mine is set for 30 second filming and then a break and then it'll film again. And uh, I kept checking and the ramp was where it belonged, nothing happened. Then one day I went down and the ramp was back, moved over against the fence and my game camera was still down there. So I was like, oh, excellent. I'm gonna see uh, what happened here. And I have 96 clips that my game camera had while the animals are down there wandering around. And I have like 60 of them before the ramp is moved. And then 25 of them after the ramp is moved. I even have a video of the goat walking off the top of the ramp. But the five video, or I have five videos that were corrupted and all staticky and there was no video. And that was from the time the ramp was sitting where it belongs until the time the ramp was over, the five <laughs> videos were corrupted and I couldn't see anything. And I was like, I oh, man, it's Bigfoot. Cause you know, I, we live in the heart of Bigfoot country out here, heading up to Mount St. Helens. And uh, there's always Bigfoot stories of people like, I can't get a camera, it must be electromagnetic field, or I can't get pictures of, you know, there's something causing static and the pictures just don't work and whatnot. So I was just kind of joking around Bigfoot is, uh, helping my goats escape and when he comes and moves the ramp he's putting off this magnetic field that puts creates static on my digital camera and I can't get any footage I mean the well, I have footage in the dark you know of other animals walking up daylight dark morning night all, all kinds of footage everywhere and then the moment that that ramp was moved the files were corrupted and uh, they were on my uh, memory card, but they're saying corrupted. We cannot view so I don't have any footage I've set the ramp back up where it belongs I've put the camera back out there and I hope to find out what is really happening down there and how what's causing uh, The ramp to be moved so that my goats can get out So my story about my friend that saw Bigfoot my friends that saw Bigfoot and like I said, they're not storytellers They don't have all these grand things. They, they're honest people, but uh they were saying that they saw Bigfoot and, and how their story goes. If you look behind me here, this is the Lewis River Valley and, uh, and there's multiple reservoirs. There's dams up there for hydroelectric power and uh, out in the woods there. And a lot of people, it's a very popular boating area up there. So, and it's back country way out in the woods. And I have uh, some friends that lived up there and they would let people store their boats for a fee. It was uh, rent a storage space there and they'd have multiple boats out there. And because they live way out in the woods, uh, they want protection, so they have multiple big dogs that chase away anything, including bear, because there's a lot of bear up there. And they'll, like I said, they'll just chase off bear. And one night their dogs were whimpering and whining and trying to back up into their door. 
and they and get inside and they're like what in the world is going on what is out there so they opened up the door and they said they walked outside and they have bo a boat on the trailer that the top of the boat is about head high eye level of an adult male is up here nice and high and they said that there was a figure that was walked up next to that boat and was bent over looking down into the boat to see what was up in there and so uh, I don't and then it just uh, disappeared into the night so I again obviously uh, I, I feel if Bigfoot was real we'd have seen him by now have more evidence but I have sane honest friends that are saying I've seen Bigfoot and something's helping my goats get out Thanks for joining me on the Flanagan Homestead, where Christmas trees are my business, teaching and cleaning horticulture is my job, and outdoor projects are my passion. Hope to see you again soon. Be blessed, everyone.